giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archived FIRST Robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. All right, good evening, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Infimidation. Uh, tonight, we will recap all three events that happened in week one here in Michigan. Uh, we'll also announce the top Michigan top 10 teams from our fun FRC Top 25 poll, and we'll preview the five events, five, that we have coming up in week two. Uh, we will also have a little behind-the-bumper segment with world champion team 27 Rush a little bit later. Reporting for first updates now, I'm Nick. I'm Sky. I'm Mike. And I'm Nick Jr., all right, so we have another new host on the show tonight. Uh, Mike, why don't you quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Mike Schreiber. I'm an alumni of uh, Team 27 Rush, and I've been a design and strategy mentor for Team 67 Hot since 2014. I'm a lead robot inspector for FIM, uh, and you can find me coaching for 67 at Milford, Lincoln, East Kentwood, and I'll be LRI at Centerline. Uh, so let's run, jump right into it and talk about the first event we're recapping this week. Sky, what do you have for us? Uh, yeah, so Gibraltar. Uh, I think the real story here is what 1718, the Fighting Pie, were able to accomplish here in week one with the hatch panels. Uh, they have a bot that is fully fledged game monster when it comes to scoring those game pieces. Uh, I sure will, I'm sure that we'll see things heat up here in the upcoming weeks. However, uh, the ranking point saw 1023 Bedford Express come out with the number one rank. Uh, they had a ranking score of 2.5. Uh, and they're a cargo scoring beast. Uh, next up in the rankings, we saw 3604, the Goon Squad. Uh, other teams managing to rank with a score of over 2.0 were 3655, 1481, and 1718. Uh, having only five of the 40 teams managed a ranking score greater than two does go to pr prove how tight this event was as teams jostled for position. 1023, Bedford Express pulled a quite respectable win loss of 10 and 2 in the quals before grabbing 1718 the fighting pie and 6081 digital dos oscillators this was a natural pairing with 1023's cargo capabilities and maneuverability and complemented by the hatch placing work of 1718 uh this would all wind up in a classic 1v2 with the forces of 1023 1718 and 6081 were just a little too much for the number two seated alliance of 36 04 36 41 and 5901 the first seated alliance took it in two matches the Chairman's Award went to third-ranked team 3655 Tractor Technicians. Excellent work here, guys, as you slipped in and nabbed that award from some serious competition. Uh, 548 got the Engineering Inspiration, and 7789 took home the Rookie All-Star. Mike, how did the first event in Kettering go? Kettering went pretty well. After, uh, after qualifications, Team Rush seated number one uh, from Clarkson. They selected Team 3542 Speed and 5150 the Hybrid Hornets. Uh, the number one alliance marched through quarters and semis. They uh, no no opponents got within ten points of them. In the finals, they faced off against the number six alliance of seventy four ninety one, a rookie, the Cyber Soldiers from Burton, uh, two forty five, the Adam Bots out of Rochester Adams, and sixty five forty eight Perry High School Rambots. Um, the first first match went to the number one alliance, and uh, number the second match they had a few issues, and um, they allowed the number six to squeak out. 5150 uh, tried to send it and it didn't go so well. Uh, in this, in this, uh, so, so the number one alliance won by two points uh, and, and one out. Uh, the number one alliance won out in round three. The chairman's award went to 1322 Great Leviathans from Fenton. This is their first chairman's award since 2016. Uh, engineering inspiration went to 5086, the Cadillac Connectors. Rookie All Star went to 7118, Williamston High School. Um, and Nick Jr. was at Kettering this weekend and took a behind-the-bumpers look at Team 27. Let's take a look. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Nick with uh, First Updates Now Infemination, and I'm here with Val and Jessica from Team 27 Rush. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and talk about the robot a little bit. So, Val, do you want to go ahead and talk about the wrist and the arm? Sure. So we designed a multi-purpose mechanism that would be able to manipulate both balls and hatches. We can retrieve both of the game pieces from the retrieval zone. However, we can, we can only pick up cargo from the ground. We do not have a hatch ground intake. And the reason for that is because in the strategy, it wasn't really necessary due to the amount of hatches behind the driver station. We have a active wrist, so that way our gripper can always stay perpendicular to the ground and parallel to the rocket in order to allow for accurate placement of the game pieces. And then our arm is unique because it has 180 degrees of motion, so we don't have a true front or back to our robot. And this allows us to decrease our cycle time from the retrieval zone to the rocket. For sure. And then what gear ratio are you guys running on that and what kind of motor on the arm? So our arm is powered by NEOs, which are brushless motors, uh, which allows us to provide a little bit more torque. And I believe we have a 200 to 1 for the rotation and 101 for the extension. And then the wrist is powered by a 400 to 1 with a 775s. Awesome. That's that very impressive. And then Jessica, you want to go ahead and talk about the climber a little bit? Sure. So we have two what we call stingers on our robot. So this stingers. is what we call the front stingers. Okay. And so these will swing forward and go onto the top of the level three platform. And so this is using a 775 motor with a 1,000 to 1 gear reduction. And the back stingers are using two 775 motors with a 1,200 to 1 gear reduction. And so these will go down after the front stingers are deployed and they will lift the back end of the robot up. And then after this happens, there are powered uh, three-inch Colson wheels on the front that are connected to our drivetrain. And so these will pull the robot forward. And at the end, these back stingers will come up to ensure that we are fully supported by the third platform. Awesome. And then what kind of drivetrain are you guys running? So we have an eight-wheel drivetrain with shifting gearboxes. So we have two, feeds, two speeds of 11 feet per second and 14 feet per second. The two center wheels are treaded, and then the each corner is an omnidirectional wheel to allow for more maneuverability when turning. Awesome. Well, thank you, Val and Jess. I am Nick Jr. from First Updates Now, and look for more videos. All right. Awesome video, Nick. Thanks for getting that at Kettering this weekend. We're going to move on to our recap of Southfield. Uh, Southfield saw 33 seed number one with a total of 33 ranking points. Uh, and they went on to choose 35-38, uh, the Robo Jackets, also from Auburn Hills. And they uh, picked Team 94, the 94 years, uh, from Southfield. They're actually the host team uh, of the event. And then the second seeded alliance is the other alliance that uh, ended up making it to finals. They were comprised of Team 4680, the Aztec Eagles from Detroit, 573, the Mech Warriors from Bloomfield Hills, and 5531, Orange Crush from Dearborn. Um, it was a great event all weekend. In the end, the number one alliance ended up taking it in two matches by scores of 76 to 61 and 72 to 55. Uh, a big highlight was it was 94's first event win in its entire 22 year history uh, i'm not sure maybe chat can correct me but i think this might have been the longest uh streak without a win uh at an all of first so uh, that was pretty cool to see them win uh they were super excited and they played uh amazing uh defense they really made a big impact on uh, those finals matches so shout out to them um another highlight uh the semi-final matches actually between the number two and the number three alliance uh, saw a lot of strategy and a lot of gameplay. Um, defense played a huge factor in those matches and made a big difference in uh, the number two alliance being able to move on to the finals. Uh, the number three alliance headed up by 28-34 and 54-36, uh, the Cybercats, um, and obviously 28-34 Bionic Blackhawks, our Hall of Fame. Both of those robots were really great. They were playing well all weekend, uh, so those were some tough semifinal matches. And, uh, and finally, this is nine years in a row now that 33 has won its opening event. And this is the second year in a row that 33 and 35, 38 have won Southfield together. So it's kind of become a little bit of a um, home event for those two teams. So overall, a great event, a lot of great gameplay, and it'll be uh, interesting to see how all the teams move on into their second events down the road. Uh, Nick, do you want to move us into our next uh, category here? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so now's the time that we go ahead and introduce the uh, top 10 teams for this week. Um, this is based on the fun, uh, from the fun community voting in the, uh, top 25. Uh, so, um, we're going to go and look at the list, uh, coming in at number one is team 33, the killer bees out of Auburn Hills. 
Uh, number two, we have Team 27 Rush out of Clarkston. Number three, we got 3538 Robo Jackets also out of Auburn Hills. Uh, team 1023 Temperance, or Team 1023 Bedford Express out of Temperance. Uh, number five, Team 1718 out of Armada. Number six, we got 3604 Goon Squad, followed by 3542 Speed, also out of Temperance. Uh, number eight, we got 548 Robo Stings. Number nine, 3641 Flying Toasters. And lastly, at number 10, we have that rookie team that came out of Kettering, uh, 7491 Cyber Soldiers out of Burton. Uh, what's everyone's thought of What's everyone's uh, thoughts on this list? So I think one of the coolest things, 7491 won the uh, Industrial Design Award at Kettering. So yeah, actually, I also they saw won that. Three, that was awesome. They won three trophies as a rookie at their first event. That's awesome. Talk yeah, about some cool. district points, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it was cool because I believe, at least from the pictures I saw, it looks like they kind of built like a 118 Everybot, you know, with some minor tweaks. So it's really yeah, cool to see, sure. you know, something like the 118 Everybot you know, really make a difference and, and do really well. And, you know, to be the top 10 robot of a week for our entire region, you know, with how many teams compete in Michigan, right, that's yeah. a pretty big deal. They and, walked out with uh, 53 district points out of Kettering, 17 qual cool. points, 20 playoff points, 11 alliance points, and five award points. And that's that's kind of ridiculous if you think about it, but uh, it really goes to show how much doing one thing or two things and doing it really well, building within your means can... It, it, you don't need to build a sure amazing crazy robot you just need to right. play the game well and they've got that down so, i'll also say I, I oh sorry mike didn't mean to cut oh. you off i was just gonna say you know i thought 1023 was really impressive um yeah that weekend. third level climb was super nice very consistent right i might be a little bit biased they're very similar to our <laughs> climber but but it was really smooth and also i mean their ball play is incredible or the cargo play oh, is incredible. Oh, amazing. Them in the finals yeah, they were just amazing. zooming and because well, they weren't just in one area of the field right like they went they went to both sides of the cargo ship. I think they would scored in both rockets too. So they literally scored in like every area they could. And they scored a disc on the front of the cargo ship in auto for those five points. So all around, they were really impressive, I thought. Yeah, and that, that's a mobility thing for sure with them. They're just killing Absolutely. it. Absolutely, yep. Yep. All right. Well, uh, let us know what you guys all think, the viewers in the comments on the top 10, if you guys think maybe uh, one team was too low or too high. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to move on to some previews. So, Nick, why don't you start us off with the Belleville preview? Yeah, for sure. So, uh, at Belleville, we see the first of many notable teams that had Stellar's years last year. Uh, just to name a few, we have Team 862 Lightning Robotics and Team 5050 uh, Cowtown Robotics, uh, both in the Carson Division last year, and uh, both res definitely respectively lost to eventually the world finalists. Uh, team to see eliminations could be 862 Lightning Robotics, 1025 Impy. 2137 Torque, 2832 Livonia Warriors, uh, 3656 Dreadbots, 3770 Blitzkrieg, uh, 4405 AMS Family, and uh, last but definitely not least, 5050 Cowtown. Um, two sleepers that I could see come out of this event uh, definitely could be 6861 Tyros team and uh, 7056 the Fast team. Uh, Chairman's looks to be led by 2137, um, but 20 or uh, 1025 might be looking to take a stab at that after not winning uh, the district Chairman's Award last year. Uh, Mike, how are we looking at Milford for next week? Milford has a surprising number of teams playing their second district at nine. Uh, the two that I expect big improvements want, so big improvements from for week two is uh, 3536 Electro Eagles out of Heartland and 5561 Raider Robotics. Um, teams making their debut that I expect to see in Elims are 67 Hot, uh, 3098 The Captains, 3707 Brighton Techno Dogs, 4362 The Gems, 4776 Scott Spots. Uh, 5053 Lakers, 5460 Strike Zone, um, and 308 Monsters. One of the Dark Horses, um, they had a good robot last year, and I expect to see good things from this year is uh, 7225, the me Mechatronic Mustangs. Um, and then the Chairman's Battle is going to be between 66 and 4776. Both of them have won at the state level before, so we'll see who takes that. Nick, you want to tell us about St. Joe? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so this is everyone's first event of the season uh, competing at St. Joe this weekend. So no second plays just yet. Uh, it's definitely going to be a slugfest at the top. This is a pretty loaded event um, led by, of course, the back-to-back -back world champion 2767 Strike Force from Kalamazoo. Uh, and there's a, quite a few other heavy hitters uh, such as 2337, the Engine Nerds. Uh, 34, excuse me, 3452, the Green Engineers, uh, 3620, Average Joes, and 4003, Trisonics. Um, I can see all those teams really making a, a hard run uh, for the win this weekend. Uh, 2767 and 3452 paired up last year to win St. Joe's, uh, and they beat 3620 in the finals. 
So out of all five of those teams I mentioned, I, I pretty much expect two of those five will likely pair up to win the event. It's just a matter which two of the five. Uh, there are two rookies at the event. Um, and then as well, for the chairmans, I think 2337 uh, is pretty much the heavy favorite this year to win at St. Joe's for chairmans. But I could see 3603 or 4003 uh, come up and maybe win it. Both of them uh, won uh, chairman's last year. I think they both won for the first time last year. So it could be that they're a new strong, strong contender and we just don't know yet, but, uh, I, my money would probably be on engineer. It's coming out. So moving on to Lakeview, uh, sky, what do you have for Lakeview this weekend? Um, so Lakeview, uh, this is, there's going to be a bit coming on over at battle Creek here. Um, uh, so there's some stuff to note. Uh, first off, we have 1918 NC Gears. Uh, this is their first showing this year. Uh, there is also 503 Frog Force and 2054 Tech Vikes, who won the event last year, as well as 4381 Twisted Devils, who picked up the chairman's event at this uh, last season. Uh, team 4568 is the only team with official match to play in this event so far, so we kind of have a bit of a polar thing with these events. Uh, <laughs> Nine freaking uh, teams in one and none in the other, it seems. Uh, so my favorite going into this event is most definitely 1918 NC Gears. Uh, they had great success last year with a very well-rounded bot, and I hope to see that carry over into this season. They also had that double buddy climb last season, so we'll see if that design philosophy kind of rolls over uh, into this year. Uh, this event has a fair number of teams that will be making appearance at East Kentwood in a few weeks, so this might be an interesting preview of things to come. Uh, the chairmans may be a bit tight, but I'm really expecting to see it come down to 503. They've been a bit starved since 2016, and the defending chairman winners at this event from last year 4381 twisted devils uh so nick jr what are we going to see at kettering two uh yeah so uh this will be the second kettering or uh, the second event held at kettering university uh, after kettering won last week uh we see the first of the captain of the world finest alliance last year uh team 217 the thunder chickens um as always i'm looking for big things to come out of them um, another notable that we get to see is another einstein team from last year 494 martians uh, some other notables that I uh, had listed here uh, that I plan to see come out of the woodworks. Uh, 1684 Chimeras for sure uh, with that beautiful black bot. Um, and uh, some teams that might try to take a stab at their first Blue Baron of the year. 217 Thunder Chickens, 494. Um, 1684 Chimeras, 2619 The Charge, and 3534 House of Cards. Uh, a few teams that I think that could be in the mix and rank higher than planned. Uh, 3667 Mechanum Knights. Um, 50, 46 jacked up jackets, 51, 55 bear cats and 57, 12, uh, hemlocks gray matter. Uh, DCA is going to be a showdown between 30, uh, between, between team 36 or team 26, Oh four metal and soul team 26, 19, the charge and team 36, 67 mechanism nights. Uh, Tyler, you got anything to add to that? So what I have to add is not really about this, but it's more of a PSA for everybody. Uh, I want you to look at this uh, this competition here at St. Joseph and all the other ones in FIM right now. And does anybody notice something that's missing in what we're trying to preview? There are no robot pictures on any of these. Guys, if you would like to actually yeah. have us show your robots Seriously. and talk about them, I think in the five district events that we went through, there was a total combined about 10 robots that had pictures on the blue yeah, lines. get them on there. So make sure you hop on Blue Alliance and get your robot pictures uploaded uh, so we can talk about them uh, on here. It is a lot easier to show that way, too. So once again, uh, make sure you get these robot pictures uploaded. Go on TBA. This is where we get most of our information from and where a lot of other people do as well. Uh, so make sure, once again, get your pictures up on TBA uh, because we can't wait to see something like that. Speaking of, wait, of can't wait to see, Sky, I'm going to call you out here uh, just for okay. a moment. And he, he, he Ooh. might know it's coming. Ooh, that we yeah. might have... We might have a short, small preview of Strike Force's robot tomorrow live on air in the FRC Top 25. Just a short preview, Sky. What, how do you feel about that? Uh, I think teaser is a better word than preview. Maybe a little Don't. teaser tomorrow. Okay. Maybe a little teaser. All right. Yeah. Man, I'm, I actually, Tyler, I'm surprised. I thought you were going to bring up how Sky massively lost his bet that he made last week. Live oh, he on got the destroyed. I a hat. I know I owe you a hat. I ordered two hats because I know I'm going to lose another bet to you. So this is I'm what I get. You want to double faith. down? We can double can, down. This can we? Weekend. Can we say what the bet was? What was the bet yeah, after? So, so the bet we made last week before you know the season. Yeah, we started, talked was, after. I bet yeah. 
I bet Sky that less than 10% of all qualification matches in Michigan would have a rocket ranking point scored. And uh, clearly, I had too much faith in the FRC community. So <laughs> yeah. get your stuff together. All right. So the question is, is do you want to double down on this week there being a 10% uh, gain? Or have you lost all hope in Michigan? I have lost a lot. Hey, I'll double hope. you down. Oh, okay. I'll double you so, down. Wow. All right, so now Nick so, so you're like, I got you're one like of taking these Sky's marker there, desk. or what? Yeah, I'm going to take Sky on this one. I, folks, there's five events. There's some notable teams out there. I'm going to bet Nick for one because I want a B's hat. Well, so so are we doing the same 10%? 10%. Fine. It's if you're good with that. Take on, on Nick. I'll you bet can... a hat. I want a B's yeah, hat. Okay. All right, all right. So wait, am I betting both of you then? <laughs> no, you're just betting Nick. I'll I'll come back. We all right, all right. So Nick and I are now bad at betting a hat. Ten percent yep. on ten percent uh, all Michigan events. All Michigan uh, events. Ten percent that a rocket RP gets scored by at least one of the alliances in yep. that match. Penalty is not included. Penalty, yeah, penalty RP is not included. I think you're insane for making that bet after last weekend, but I, Nick, will I think take your free hat. swag. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, all right, so that's probably going to wrap us up for the night. Uh, thanks for everyone who has watched and sent us questions and comments and support. Uh, if you want more first robotics in your life and like what we do, all we ask is that you let others know about the show and that this is the place to go for more FRC in your life. Uh, if you've got a few bucks to share, we appreciate it. But if not, we totally understand and are delighted to have you on board. Uh, be sure to click that little green follow button above, and that'll keep you notified to all of the shows we have going on throughout the week. And also click that purple sub button to see if you might have a free Twitch Prime sub available. Uh, on behalf of myself, Sky, Mike, Nick Jr., and our producer, Tyler, I would like to thank uh, you for tuning in, and thank you to all of our moderators in the chat. The next recap show tonight is Mouth of the South. Uh, we'll be here same time, same place next Monday for the recap of Milford, Belleville, Kettering 2, Lakeview, and St. Joseph. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.